Supporters of Ukraine were back at the state capitol Wednesday calling for more aid to fight off the Russian invasion. At the same time, under the Capitol Dome, the State House International Relations and Economic Development Committee listened to testimony about cutting business ties with the Russian Federation. We want to make sure we are doing the right thing and minimize the damage and maximize the uh, impact and the efficiency. Economic analysts Ray Perryman and Pia Arenas with the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas told the committee the list of imports and exports hit by a breakup is not long. It includes items like machinery made in Texas sold to Russia, as well as imports of Russian wheat, grain, even some oil. There's not a single commodity in that entire chain that there's not a ready market for our exports elsewhere or a ready supplier for the import elsewhere. And you know, if you switch from buying it from Russia to buying it from somewhere else or selling it to Russia, selling it somewhere else, the economic impact of that is negligible. Before the invasion, Texas only had about $18 million of what's called indirect investments linked to Russia. The committee was told by the comptroller's office that amount has now been reduced. It's just over a million dollars. And that's across three of our pools of capital, the 11 endowments, the SWIFT, and the T-STIF, which is our portion of the rainy day fund that we invest. So when I say we have 1.2 million in indirect, that's of 16 billion dollars invested across those three pools of capital. The war is causing a drag on the Texas economy. And while the Lone Star State is predicted to outperform the national economy, there was this warning. However, I will note uh, average wages are still trailing inflation because inflation is running so high. So even a 5% increase in the average weekly wage is not enough to cover, you know, the 6 or 7% increase in prices over the year. The supply chain also remains a problem. It's not expected to be corrected until next year. Are we talking about early next year, mid next year, or late next year, or is just, just a guess? Based on our survey responses, we're talking about early 2023. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. What, what, what I would add is there's a huge amount of uncertainty right now because yeah. it really depends on the, what happens, the direction this, this situation with, with Russia and Ukraine goes. And, and, and how At the state capitol, Rudikowski, Fox 7 Austin News.